Let's take a look at what Thinkific looks like for those students who are accessing your course from their mobile. Now, first of all, Thinkific does not have a mobile app. So students who access your course need to access it from the website. Now, while this website is not a mobile website, it still is adaptive to the mobile screen for some lessons. So what we're going to do in this video is we're going to look at what lessons look like on your mobile. We're going to look at a video lesson. We're going to look at a text lesson. And then we are going to look at a multimedia lesson or an embedded lesson. And in this video, we're going to look at Google Slides that's embedded into your course. So let's take a look. Over here, I have my Thinkific course here. This is an, a live course that I have. This is not my test account. This is my actual live course. Um, so if you would like to know more about this live course design, your online course, you can check it out in the description below. It talks about how you should do curriculum design and building your course outline. So what we're going to have a look at is different types of lessons. You can see that there's quiz lessons, there's text lessons, there's embedded lessons, and we have video lessons. So first of all, let's just have a look at what it looks like from the student's perspective. Now for this video, I'm not actually going to go in from my mobile while I can connect my mobile to my computer. That's fine. I want to actually show you how you can test it on your computer for a mobile screen, if that makes sense. So let me just show you how you can do that. Anywhere on your screen, right click on your screen. Now mine's in Spanish, but you should have down the bottom here, you should have a button that says inspect or a button that says source or something along those lines. And if you click on that, what opens up on, usually on the right hand side here, is this information. So we're not going to worry about that information. I'm just going to minimize that. Sometimes you would find that it shows up here. What I'm going to do instead is show you up the top here how I can change those dimensions. Now, rather than changing them, I'm just going to click on this arrow that says responsive. And here from the drop down list, I have all of these different types of display screens and sizes. So let's say that I'm going to use a Samsung Galaxy S8. So you can see how now this is showing what it looks like on a phone screen. So for the purposes of this video, this is how I'm going to demonstrate it to you. And you can also follow those same instructions to quickly test it on your computer rather than having to go into your phone, log in via Chrome, etc., etc. OK, so we can see that this was the first question, which was a quiz, and we can see that it's responsive. It being the course is responsive to the screen. That's perfect. So Thinkific, while it doesn't have a mobile app, it still is responsive to the mobile screen from their website. If I go into a text lesson, here you can see uh, the same, that it is equal, that it's now reduced that table that I had designed, and it has put that into a mobile screen, for example. So let's go and have a look at the next module and let's have a look at a video. So this video here, you can also see that the video has reduced to the screen. And if I change it around, so it's as if I've taken my phone and put it into horizontal landscape view, you can see again that what's happened is the video is decreasing or in this case, increasing to the size of my phone. So if I have it vertical, it's shrinking. If I change it around, it's it's basically using 100% of the screen. OK, so if I move it back to here, we can see that it's using 100% width of the screen. And likewise, down the bottom, the text and the download is all changing to be the same as the width of my screen. So what are you probably been waiting for? Let's have a look at what it looks like when I have a Google Slides embedded into a text lesson. So you can see here that the Google Slides does not adapt or is not responsive 
to my screen. It's actually showing quite large. We can scroll across to be able to see more information, to see the entire Google Slides, and that is not useful. Even if I was to change that around, we can see here that this is a little bit more uh, user friendly, but still it's not that great. So let me show you what to do. Here I have my Google Slides, and this is what you can see in the Thinkific lesson. So I want to show you how I've embedded it into that text lesson and what you can do to make sure that it is responsive to mobile or that it is responsive to any screen that someone's using. So how I have shared this or how I've embedded this is I've actually gone into files here and I've gone into share. So I'm not going to click share on the right hand side here. Mm, I need to go into files and into share where I have an option to actually publish it to the web. In the other share, in the yellow button, I can only share via link or actually put in people's email addresses in. So if I click on publish to the web, you can see here that I already have published it. So I can either just get a link and then use this link, for example, in a multimedia lesson in Thinkific, or I can click on this embed button and here is all of the embedding. Now, when I actually go to embed this, when you do this for the very first time, you have these options at the top, the size of the slide, and then you have when the slide advances automatically. So I can select here one of these options or I can personalize it. I can then also choose, I have to choose when the slide advances. So I can just choose every minute. Then down the bottom, you can see here in these details that I've got six, 60,000 seconds for every single minute. And that I also have the width and the height is 570 and 350. So all of this, I've just taken this and I've gone into my Thinkific account and I've pasted it into this lesson. So we're not viewing it from a student's perspective now. I'm back in my admin account. In this lesson here, what I have done is I've gone into the code view and I've pasted all of that code. See that there? So I've pasted that code. Now that's how we embed it. But how do we ensure that it's responsive? And that's very easy. All we do is we now update these widths. OK, so just as I explained to you that I have 650 and 370 that I typed into the personalized side. Remember, I typed it in here. Here I can only type in pixels. However, when we're writing in HTML code, we can also type in percentages. So I can actually change this width and change it to say 100 percent. And so what that means is that dependent on what the width of the screen is, it will adapt to 100% of that width. So let me save this lesson. We can only save when we uncheck code view. Now you can see nothing seems to change here because it's taken up 100% of the width. But let me save this and then let's go back to the student's perspective. Over here, Remember that it was showing like this. So let me just refresh my screen. And now you can see that it's responsive to the screen and it's now taken up 100% of the width and the student can interact with it or they can at least go through and have a look at each slide without having to slide across or down. And likewise, if I was to change this like this, you can see, so now we're looking at it horizontally, you can see that it's still taking up a lot more of that page and we can also change the width back here we can also change the width of the height to also be 100 percent now that might look a little bit weird when we look at it horizontally but we can at least have a look at what that does so again if i come back over here and i refresh this you would see that this is now taking up 100% of the screen. So if it's vertical, the, the height and the width. So maybe that height doesn't really, isn't really effective because now it's super tiny. Uh, but at least you can see that what we're doing is once we've embedded a, a Google Slides, then we just change this width here. So if you've just come into this video at this point and you're not quite sure what we're doing, when you have a 
Google Slides that is embedded into a text lesson in Thinkific, when you embed it from Google Slides, you can copy this link. And this link has the height and it has, sorry, the width and the height of the slides. And once we embed it here into Thinkific, we then simply go in and change that width. My recommendation is to only change the width. And we change that to 100%. We unclick this code view and we press save. And then on the mobile, when we look at this in a vertical view, and I'll just refresh my screen, we can then see that it looks perfect. Okay, it now takes up 100% of that width and students don't have to scroll across or up and down to be able to see your Google Slides. I hope that these instructions have been helpful to demonstrate to you how you can one, embed Google Slides into your Thinkific course, but two, how you can also update that code to be 100% width so that it is dynamic or responsive to your student's mobile screen. Each week I post a video here on my YouTube channel all about course creation. So help me out and subscribe to the channel, but also don't forget to hit the bell button so you are notified of new videos that are posted each week. Until next time, happy course creating.